what was law. And the, uh, oh, that's going to take some time. I have to separate them and spread them out. We're putting them in the sun a bit. <laughs> it's going to take a couple days to thaw. And I was hoping to have some soil for today. But one bag I could use to top of the potatoes, but I might hold off from that and actually get some of these seedlings spread out a bit and put them into their own pots. So priority will be on the seedlings. Once this stuff's thawed, use as the top of the just gonna talk a little bit about how I handle um, our eggshells. Whenever we cook our eggs, you take the eggshells and just put them in this used coffee tin. Uh, just to let them dry out. Crush them down a little bit. So they're just smaller pieces. Now I'll take these pieces and run them through a coffee grinder. The reason I do this is I'm going to grind to a very fine powder so I can throw that into um, our plants, namely tomatoes. Tomatoes need a lot of calcium. Otherwise, uh, you can get a condition called end rot or blossom rot. But the bottom of the tomato will kind of look pretty much rotten. And it's just not having enough calcium uh, when the flower starts to form that tomato. I'm going to throw the cap on there and go ahead and grab it. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bowl to throw that in. Okay, whew. Turn to Oh, yes, that's a horrible smell. So far, quite a bit of powder there. Actually, we used to do this when I was young. We ground up all our uh, eggshells and we feed this back to the chickens. Because, of course, they need calcium. Since they're using up all their calcium to make the eggs in the first place. So we added it to the chicken feed. Pretty much like a supplement. It's getting in between the lid here and starting to come out. It's actually making it difficult for the lid to close on me here. <clears throat> It's actually very clean, so um, it's taken away a lot of the coffee stains in there. Now I can just go with the cloth. I don't have to really do much to clean this out. I just blow it out, wipe it with the cloth, and I'm good to go and use this for coffee, I guess. And the lid I can just rinse out under the tap. There we go. So here we have our eggshell powder, calcium carbonate. Um, some people will actually go ahead and do a one-to-one -one ratio of mixing with vinegar to break it down to calcium. Uh, you could do that, but yeah, you really got to watch your pH levels in your soil then. So you can just leave it simple unless you're dealing with an emergency situation where you need to get calcium into the plant right away. Um, if you're doing this preemptive like I am, you can just grind it down to a power like that, throw in the soil, and let's let it break down on its own rate. So I went out to the shed and I grabbed some more pots, and I found out I was missing a lot of bottoms or, or um, bases for them. So this morning I ran out to the store and we picked up a bunch more. So I got 12 more pots here. That gives me an opportunity to separate some of my plants that have been waiting, namely my pepper plant, uh, that need to go into some pots. Okay, these are super chili peppers, or at least that's what they're called. Um, again, I've started a bunch of them in a pot, 
and they, uh, they've germinated quite well. So I'm going to start separating some of these into their own pots. And these are from peppers that we grew last year. These are the peppers that we, this is what's left over of the peppers we picked last year. Um, we had a lot more than this. And we've eaten most of them during the winter. Uh, probably finish this off fairly soon. But the, uh, I just cracked one open and the, uh, took out the seeds and just threw them in the soil here. And they've germinated quite well. Okay, so here I got some star seeds, and these are from a persimmon. So we threw in six seeds, and the first one that came out was down here. Now it's still got the um, starter leaves still inside the seed pod itself, but the roots and everything have come out. Um, I try not to tease that off unless I absolutely have to, but the, uh, just let them take their natural way. I'm just going to switch these around so it's easier to see. Okay. And what we want to do is actually first look at the bottom and see if I got any roots coming out. I don't. So that makes things a little bit easier for taking this out. Just loosen up the dirt from the outside. Work as far away from the plant we can. Just tease that out. I'm just going to gently, very gently, grab by the stalk and try to move it by the roots. There we go. Wow, about that deep. I'll just do a little fit test. And I'll just speed that down a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Whoa, shoot. That was a good size wool. Just pack that down like that. Perfect. Now, all we need is some water. This soil is actually quite dry. I don't water or I don't keep my soil mixture moist. Let it dry out. That way it's easier and less messy to plant around. Now for this initial watering, now just a little bit of water on top, especially when the soil is dirt, uh, dry. From this day forward, when I go do a watering, just put a little bit of water on the outside, let that go through, and this encourages the plant to really establish good, strong roots. If you keep the water too wet, it doesn't promote the plant to really grow a lot of roots. The water is going to the plant. It should be the plant going to the water. And the other thing that can happen is if you have too wet of a soil and you keep it too wet, you can get root rot. Okay, so I just did some cuttings on the tomato plants to get some of the branches out of the way. I don't want branches on the bottom of the plant. 
um, covering the ground again. I don't want tomatoes growing on the ground. I want to get some of the branches higher up and encourage the plant to grow um, new branches higher up. So this is one of the cuttings from the uh, black tomatoes. So I'm going to take some of these lower leaves off, just keep a couple on the top, and put this in the soil here. And where we get these fine hairs, it's going to start growing some roots. Tomatoes are a nice, easy plant to do cuttings. Okay, and we just make a little hole. Stick that right to the bottom. I'm going to press that soil in to hold it. Okay, and I'll just add some more soil to this and the, uh, give us a good good soaking of water. Um, again, not having roots, it's going to need direct contact of water. So we'll have to keep this a bit on the wet side for a bit. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for joining me for uh, my video update this weekend. Um, I hope you found a lot of interesting things. Maybe some things have helped you with the, uh, your garden, or at least you've had a chance to see some different plants and just how um, basically my garden's coming along here. Um, again, it's going to be a while before we get anything into the ground um, this spring. So we've got a lot of growing to do, and uh, I'll be providing a, an update every weekend here. Uh, everything's coming along pretty fast, so feel free to subscribe to keep up to date. And if you have any comments or questions, by all means, feel free to uh, add your comment down below, and I'll try to answer your questions if you have any, or even if you have any suggestions for what I could do. Um, so until then, see you next week.